All right, so this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to use your hand-drawn doodles or sketches in uh, anything that you're doing on the web. Uh, so what I did was I drew this on a piece of paper and I took a picture of it on my stove. There's my dirty stove top above that. So what I'm going to do here, to if you try to draw out this stuff now, what you're going to see is a lot of the edges get ruined because the contrast just isn't there. I just took this using a flash. So what I'm going to do is adjust the color and adjust the brightness and contrast. Uh, I'm going to set the contrast a little higher than I may normally do on anything else just to be able to pull out, uh, separate the handwriting from the back of the paper. So then I'm just going to hit select and use the magic wand tool and hit, oops, I forgot to do one step. The one step that you have to do before grabbing everything is actually flattening the image because uh, it'll ignore the effect that you put on it in this version of fireworks okay now you'll see that I get a more reasonable selection and when I delete it I only lose a little bit of my hair and stuff now these minute details that get lost will be replaced or will be uh, you won't notice them when you scale this down because this is still a gigantic image and you're not going to use it this big if you are then think about that when you're drawing and make sure that you uh, now this took me about two minutes to doodle out on a piece of paper. You know, if you want to do something much more advanced, just uh, keep in mind that if you want to make it transparent, small details are going to be hard to work around. Like you'll notice right now that I'm deleting all the centers of all the letters that I have, the bubbles that I have in my letters, so that uh, it actually is transparent and will fit properly on the background. So if you have like, like, like if you look at my hair in this picture, you're going to see there's a lot of detail. I'm just not going to cut that out because my hair is a different color and it saves me having to color it in or looking like I have white hair in the drawing. So I'm just going to leave that slight tint in there. It works because I have blonde hair. Okay, so what you've seen is that I've taken all the extra stuff out of these, all the white stuff out of these photos here. So now what I can do is scale it down to a more reasonable size. Then I'm going to change the image down to about, uh, say, 800 by 600 ish. Um, now I can get rid of what's this extra crap that's up top and uh, and use the eraser tool to get rid of all the extra anomalies that are around Let's see we'll chop this up chop this out of there alright so now what we've got if we modify the canvas fit the canvas what we've got here is our signature the graphic itself and there we go there's your graphic now you can take this and use it anywhere on a blog or on a blog post and that's it and if you want to take a signature out you can just cut this one part out create a new graphic for it hit paste and then you can add that to the bottom of your email just save it as a JPEG or export it as a JPEG to your desktop or anywhere else that you want to save it and voila